Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 18 in chapter 18. Chapter 18 is about kinetic energy of the gas. So there we have the air molecules in a cubic room, right? Cubic room. So it looks like a box. And for this box, we know the silence L. And we know the temperature. We know the pressure. And we also know there are number of the molecules N. So NTP, we know it. Now, first one, we need to find the frequency with which gas molecules hit a wall is this one. So we need to prove this function. And the Vx is the average x component of the molecule's velocity. So it looks like we consider this direction as x, or okay. So the molecules hit the wall and moves back and forth, right? Back and forth. So it looks like the, we need to find the frequency from there. So first one, we consider this frequency. Frequency is the time, is the, use the, what, one over period. Agree? One over period. So now, the period is the time taking from there, move back and forth to there, right? This is the period T round trip, agree? And then, because this is N molecules, so we can times N in front. So it looks like first step, we need to find the time for the round trip. And in this time, we can see the distance is traveled 2L, do you agree? Because it moves this way and back. Side length is L, so 2L divided by speed Vx, right? The next one, we need to, we look at this equation. We have Vx, have to but this one we don't have N. We just have PKT. Can you connect this N with PKT? Yes. We have the ideal gas law, PV equal to NKT, right? And the V equal to air cube. Now we can do that. We can say first step, we replace N with this term, agree? So N can be replaced by the PV divided by KT in this function. And then the T round trip is a 2L divided by Vx, right? So we replace it there. So 1 over t round trip is Vx divided by 2L, right? So next step, we can consider there we want to prove it looks like this one. You don't have V. It is L squared. So in this case, we need to replace the V volumes with the L cube, right? So we replace V with L cube, you can see there is one L, there is L cube, so case one L, we get the answer, look like this one. So bingo, proved. The next step, we need to show the equation can be right as this one. How can we do that? So first step, we still write it as this one, so we need to simplify this function to this one, right? And in this two, you can see, you don't have Vx, you don't have Vx. That means we need to replace Vx, right? Now we can consider this Vx is the uh, speed that travels in one direction. As we know the air molecules travels randomly in the space. This is we know in this chapter, it travels maybe in x direction, in y direction, in z direction equally, agree? So if we do the square Rm as a speed, it's just uh, consider the x, Direction y direction and z direction. So we can write this one v r x r m s square equal to v x square plus v y square plus v z square. And because v x, v y, v z are equal, so we they can write as three times v x square. Agree? Yes, because the air molecules do the random motion. It may be in x, maybe in y, maybe in z. So this part. And it's the next step. We need to introduce the RMS speed as the squared 3kt divided by m, right? So now we can write the function for Vx. You can say Vx from this equation. It is Vrms divided by square 3. And input this 
inside v r m s equal to squared three k t divided by mass m, and then we get function look like this one. Now we need to replace the v x in this function, right? So we input it inside. You can see it look like this one, and simplify to get the answer there, right? The next one, we can see we get the frequency look like this one, and then we see what the quantity is given. It tells us this is at the C level. C level is the pressure is 1 atm. You can convert the unit to Pascal. This one, it tells you temperature, right? 20, 30 degree, convert the unit to Kelvin there. And the sideless L is 3 meter. So now in this function, you can say P is given, L is given, K is a constant. We can write it there. Temperature is given, so we don't know M, the automatic mass. As we know in previous problems, we know the automatic mass for air is 29U. U is a mass unit equal to this kilogram. So now, you can see we get all these quantities. Input them in this function. You get a final answer there. Thank you.